Paul Richards here at NAB New York. I'm with Rich Rubin from Tactical Fiber Systems. And Rich is going to tell us a little bit about his fiber extension system, which can provide camera power, camera video, camera control, and audio over fiber. We can go 2,000 feet with power. And then with dry fiber, with non-powered fiber, we can go miles and miles. So this is a really cool product. Rich, why don't you tell us about it? Okie doke. Thanks, Paul. Okay, so we're talking about our RoboCam FiberLink. Two models, the RoboCam FiberLink 2000 that is made for hybrid fiber, allows you to carry power and uh, the fiber for sending the signals back and forth between the base module uh, and also the camera module. So what we have here is um, we've got connections, in this case, from the PTZ Optics camera, the HDSDI output to the input of the camera module. You also have a loop out which gives you a nice capability to monitor it out at the camera side with a monitor if you so, if you so desire. You've got a audio input. Uh, we do include a shotgun mic to pick up ambient sounds, which is very handy uh, for sporting events or anything where you want uh, to have audio with the camera. Also has an adapter cable that gives you the capability of plugging in a handheld mic with an XLR cable, if you so desire. Um, Moving down, you see you've got a, uh, a Cat5 camera control uh, connection. Uh, that camera control connects directly to the LAN connection on the camera. Uh, and that gives you your camera control signals that go back to the, uh, in this case, the IP controller, joystick controller, back at the video village where it's located. Uh, and then lastly, we've got uh, the, uh, an external uh, four-pin uh, XLR for external power. So if you want to for any reason, power it externally. You can do that too with a 12 volt supply or a battery. That's particularly handy with the dry fiber because that's the way it would be powered. If you don't have SMPTE fiber cable, tactical fiber with SMPTE. Okay, now you also have the, uh, the power, 12 volts out, which powers the camera. So uh, everything is here to connect to the camera to send audio, video, camera control, all over a single hybrid fiber cable. Now, this particular cable is 1,000 feet that we're demonstrating here at the show. Now, even though it goes 2,000 feet, if you take a look at this cable reel, this cable reel is very compact because we use a stainless steel armored cable. And that stainless steel armored cable allows us to reduce the, dia uh, the circumference, uh, the diameter, the cross-section of the cable itself. If you want to go more than uh, 1,000 feet, up to 2,000 feet, then we have this inline coupler. So you can connect two cables together. It actually is more convenient because uh, moving that, if we were to make a 2,000 foot reel, it would be very heavy and awkward to move around. So if you deploy 1,000 feet and then you join it with this, it makes it easy to transport the fiber in the field. Okay, let's move over now to the base unit and see how we connect to the switcher and how we receive the signals. So do you want to come over here and uh, I'll explain it. Okay, to begin with, the front of the unit, which is a one-rack unit, uh, nice, compact one-rack unit, has the uh, fiber connector right on the front. So if you mount this, uh, you know, to any type of a rack, you just screw the, uh, this is our Magnum tactical fiber cable, screws right to the fiber connection. You've got an on-off switch, shows power. That powers the camera, powers the system, powers the module out at the camera. In the back, we've got the hookup that goes right to the joystick controller in this case. We've got an IP controller. Optionally, we also have a board that will do serial data, RS-232, RS-425, RS-422. What you're looking at here is the output from the camera, the SDI. And in this case, we're monitoring here up in the front on that monitor. We also have an extra SDI output. So if you're using this, let's say in a sports situation, and uh, you've got your replay machine, and you also have that output going to the switcher, having those two outputs is kind of handy because you don't have to have a distribution amp. You've got two separate outputs, identical outputs in order to work with. And then lastly, you've got your audio out. The audio out is a regular XLR connection, and uh, the XLR in this case, the audio out is going into this very small little audio mixer, and we're, we're just monitoring here at the show to listen to the quality of the audio. And the audio is, is really crystal clear. It's really, really nice audio. So there you have it. You've got your basic power cord at the Video Village where you have AC power to power everything. And uh, last but not least, let's talk a little bit about the fiber cable. 
Now, tactical fiber systems actually started making fiber cables. This is one of our first forays into the converter uh, realm, or converter space. And the reason why we did that is because we think that the PTZ type of cameras are really becoming a very, very popular uh, mode of uh, production out in the field for obvious reasons of saving labor and, and the quality of the lenses and everything's getting better. But anyway, the cables that we make, our magnum cables, are stainless steel armored. So I'm going to have you take a close-up, Patrick, and so you could see that there's a stainless steel coil, and that is inside Kevlar, and these are the actual fibers, very fragile. So by using stainless steel in our fiber, we've really enabled it, because it's so strong and impervious to being chewed on, stepped on, broken, it's so strong, it's up to 10 times stronger than conventional larger tactical fiber. By doing so, we're able to put so much more of this on a reel to make it much more convenient to transport. So imagine with this fiber, now this is a dry fiber, the uh, hybrid fiber is a little thicker, but even a thousand feet of the hybrid fiber is a reel that is very manageable and it's very small. Now, we don't have a reel to show you with this dry fiber, but uh, the dry fiber reel is almost half the size of that reel. Now the reels come in on dry fiber, non-powered fiber, 250 feet to 2,000 feet, all on one reel. The non-powered fiber is available at 250, 500, and 1,000 feet. And again, we stop at 1,000 feet because we think it's going to be more convenient to deploy these inline couplers for applications that are more than 1,000 feet, up to 2,000 feet of powered. That's about it. And um, for more information, uh, you can go right to PTZ Optics or for technical support. Uh, you can give us a call at Tactical Fiber Systems. Uh, we're on the web at tacticalfiber.com. You can reach us at 877-777-7147. Thanks for watching.